you. My guest on the line has been uh, Dr. Jordan Grummet. Uh, his, go, go visit his blog. He's a lot of good stuff. It's called In My Humble Opinion. It's on Blogger or Blogspot. Uh, but just do a Google search for it. He's an internal medicine physician in uh, Highland Park, Illinois, going to be uh, starting on this journey um, of uh, uh, a micro practice or, or concierge medicine. Um, and uh, follow him on Twitter. Uh, you can use his name uh, there. And uh, um, <laughs> really interesting post on uh, Kevin MD today. I won't get into that, but it's really interesting listening, uh, reading some of those comments there. Uh, and also, you know, it's a, uh, in my humble opinion as well. So thank you so much for the time. Uh, but uh, as we kind of uh, uh, finish our conversation there, uh, Jordan, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you, you know, uh, social media and medicine, you and I kind of started uh, right around uh, the same time. And, and uh, we've been obviously advocates for this, but uh, share with my audience, um, yeah, just some final thoughts on social media and medicine and, 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 and why you think uh, that those are uh, important to you. So I think people, physicians can get into social media for lots of reasons and fundamentally to educate. But I'll tell you, for me, it's something a lot more personal. See, what I've seen in medicine over the last bunch of years is physicians are being forced to change in ways that they don't necessarily always like. And I think in a lot of ways, we've got, gotten a bad reputation. Why is healthcare care costs out of control? Because physicians aren't being careful enough. Why are hundreds of thousands of patients dying a year? It's because physicians are making mistakes. Um, you know, physicians, people think they get paid too much and they're driving around their Mercedes. And why would they dare complain? I think we're at a big risk of losing our audience. In a sense, we as physicians... The most important for people for us are our patients. And I think politicians and the world out there is trying to color us in one vision of who we are. See, to me, I think the key for us as a profession to survive and flourish is I think our patients need to know who we are and they need to see our hearts and they need to see what we're made of. So I like social media. I like to write. I like to blog. I like to tweet because I can give patients or lay people who aren't practicing medicine a view into what it feels like from the other side of the stethoscope, because I think patients come to our office and they bear their souls. And I think as we as physicians, when our patients come to the office and they bear our souls and we don't say anything back and we don't give anything in return except take two pills and call me in the morning, I think we really run the risk of, of losing their trust and faith. So when people read my writings and my blogs and they sit there and they say, hmm, I never knew a physician thought about those kind of things. I've helped redraw those, those uh, you know, connections that I think are being lost with what's happening in healthcare and what's happening in our world. Uh, so to me, as a physician, I blog because I want to make sure our patients know who we are. I want, I want them to see our hearts. I want them to know that we are people who care deeply about them we have frustrations. Um, we have bad days just as they do. Uh, and that for the grand majority of us, at the end of the day, our hope is that we help people. Uh, and I think that's priceless. And that's what I can do. I can broadcast that out into the world and hope other people see it. Wow. Uh, couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, that, that is why you out there should, should, uh, should read Jordan's blog, because uh, you, you, will, you will get that... Uh, uh, it's great statements uh, like that. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show, my friend. Uh, we, well, I'll definitely be following you. We should uh, bring you back on the show as the time get, gets closer because I know a lot of people, me, one of them, are going to be kind of watching you on this journey as you get ready for the beginning of next year. Uh, it's very exciting, and, and I definitely hear what you're saying as far as, you know, um, you know, it's it, it got to stop, you know, kind of taking this kind of <laughs> – uh, emotional and, and financial abuse <laughs> from <laughs> from yeah, our friends yeah. from our friends in Washington, and uh, it, it is uh, it'd be exciting to kind of see see how you the next chapter in your story. Yeah, no, I, I've enjoyed this greatly, and and you know I wanted to point to you, Mike, too. It's been a, a great role model, I think, for a lot of us from the very beginning. Uh, I think you've blazed a lot of trails, and I think um, I think we're all watching, and we're all saying, hmm. I can do interesting things too. <laughs> very good, very good. Well, hey, you know, it's uh, thanks, thanks a lot for the time. We'll definitely, definitely bring you back on the show, and uh, it's been a very pleasant uh, and and uh, great conversation. Thank you so much for the time, sir. No problem, anytime.